I will give you a good example again. Okay. <laughs> when we had the presidential election in the United States, we had Mr. Trump and Mrs. Clinton. And um, actually, Fox News asked me to come on, which is so conservative. And you know what I said? I said, here are the talents of Mr. Trump. And I listed them all. Here are the talents of Mrs. Clinton. And, and when I read a chart, I make believe I'm giving everything to that person and everything I have to that person. No prejudice and be very neutral. And I said at the end of listing those qualities, I said, now you have to vote <laughs> to the audience. You must vote what's important to you. Is international relationships more important? And then that's Mrs. Clinton because she knows all the people and has dealt with them for years. Is jobs more important for you? Then you need Mr. Trump because that's what his platform is based on. And uh, so she asked me, what is the Achilles heel of Mr. Trump? I said, well, he's, he's born with a bad Saturn Venus aspect. Women. Oh uh, my God. Not the Russians. It's, oh my God. In the end, it's the girls in his life. That he keeps running after, you know. And look at what we're going, what he's going through right now. Well, you know, I live in New York, so I even know girls who have dated him, but they're too afraid to. He really chased girls. Oh, my God. So there's a lot of skeletons in the closet that could come out. So he has to be careful with Saturn, with Venus. Venus is woman. Saturn is the lessons we learn in life. So that I would have told him years ago, that's where you have to be very good. <laughs> so basically, are you? Uh, what I'm understanding that you're saying is that astrology is about understanding what are the possibilities on the table. Yes. And we will use our, our judgment, best judgment and ethics and make the best decision for our moment. Yes, take Beyonce. She was born with the voice of a bird, but if she didn't go to a coach and learn how to develop it, we wouldn't have all her albums. God gives you talent, but you have to develop it. And we sometimes have more than one. Sometimes I say to someone, wow, you really have writing ability. Really? I've always wanted to be a writer. Why aren't you writing then? Right? <laughs> she said, well, nobody in my family is writing. Actually, in my family, there's nobody writing either. And my mother said, you're going to write. And I was so surprised. And when I write, I keep stretching to write better, to use more words, uh, to have better sentence structure. I read books on good grammar. You know, I do have an editor and she catches things. Sometimes Microsoft Word changes a word, which is yes. not what you ever wanted. I know. Yeah, so she reads everything again. You know, and I'm a perfectionist, I want it right. So, um, and it's but, we feel that you're caring through your words. I think oh, thanks. That I love the reader. I, I want to be the reader's best friend. It could be a man or a woman. I, I write for both. I don't want anybody to feel left out. You know, you and we feel it. We, we feel how <laughs> you you are careful about including every detail and about giving <laughs> us, you know, alternatives. alternatives <laughs> and yes. And actually, I have a personal experience with that because your your forecast of course is subscribed to your app because I want to have the full daily forecast and oh, the buy monthly the one where you have to pay Thank oh you. yes of that course. helps me keep my website free for everyone of Thank course you. I wouldn't miss that for anything <laughs> so I do have that and it in this week it was saying that it was going to be because of the the configuration we have with uh, Venus and Jupiter, Jupiter and, Neptune. and Neptune, that it would be uh, a, a week where we would feel like a dream come true, a great yes. week. Yes, and uh, an inspiration. Yes. Yes, and to stretch for the sky. Yes. Reach for the stars. Yeah. And look at me here. I couldn't imagine <laughs> in a million years that I would meet you in this event. Yeah, I'm thrilled uh, to meet you. <laughs> oh, my God. And that she would accept to give me this few oh, words. Of course. I love my Brazilian readers. You know, when I go on Twitter, Brazil likes Twitter. Oh my God. So I'm working during the day, I go on Twitter. 
but sometimes I'm up late at night. Oh, I'm always up late at night. So sometimes I just want to take a little break. So I go on Twitter. What are they talking about at the town square? What are they saying to each other? Yes. You know? And the Brazilian girls are on first. Really? You know, at the late night. And if I stay on really later, then Turkey comes on. And they like Twitter as much as the Brazilian Oh. And then if I stay up until four in the morning or five in the morning, then India comes on. <laughs> and I know that when it's close to the deadline of turning in the monthly like forecast, <laughs> she really stays up late. I follow her on Twitter and I see her interacting with uh, readers and uh, it's... Oh, it's, you see that? Yeah. Oh, of course, I read it. Yeah. And you get, she gives tips to signs. Oh yeah, this month Gemini this <laughs> and Cancer that. Oh, they and, can find me at Astrology Zone. Okay. A S T R O L O G Y Z Z O N E, yeah. Because then you know people like I like Twitter because they can ask a fast question. Facebook, the questions are so right. Long. Exactly, it's a little overwhelming. I do answer there too, but I can't answer as many. But just know, at the end of the month, it's harder for me to be writing and go on Twitter. So sometimes I miss a question. If I didn't see your question, put it up again in the beginning of the month. Okay, and, and I, I would like to take the opportunity to thank you because you're very generous with your writing oh, sure. and with your time because I know it's a lot of work. Yeah, but my work is my play. I would do it for free even though it's hard and I call it a sweaty, exhausting time in the labor room at the end of the month. And I'm up to Sagittarius right now and I have four to go and each one takes about seven hours. Oh my God. And and this convention was coming at such a bad time for me. If it was just at the beginning of the month, it would have been so easy for me, but yeah. end of the month. But I started on the 15th. There are other jobs waiting because I had to move everything up. But, you know, I do it. You juggle, you just juggle. <laughs> if you don't subscribe yet for to her app, you definitely should because it's very good information. I won, I won an award. I won the Media Excellence Award for best daily connected content that makes people's lives better. Congratulations! <laughs> that was in the January. It's so worth it. That was great. And then uh, the Webby Awards, which are like the Oscars. I didn't make the three finals, but I made honoree, which oh is very God. hard to make. Yeah. And then um, the Appy Awards, I was finalist in three categories. I didn't win, but I got the top two. And the oh top three. Oh my god. So it, it's still good. You did this so bad. You did. You did. You're great, Susan. Thank you so much oh. for everything that you give us. Oh. <laughs> because you do. You give back, though, the love and the warmth. I can feel it. You know, it's so hard on the day I post because I'm dealing with advertisers and my editor and, and the engineers and everybody's on the phone with each other. And then I'm done. And I see the little birds tweeting to each other, and they're happy, and it's all worthwhile. I love that. I'm addicted to that first day in the beginning of the month when all the little birds are tweeting. Oh my God, because what happens is that by the end of the month, I personally, I am checking to see, is it up, is it up, is it up, is it up? Well, we hire everybody for midnight, so it's going to always be And around. you update yeah. us on Twitter, you oh, say, yeah. oh, my, te my IT team is posting and this and that, I've submitted this sign yes. and that. You have to follow yeah, her Yeah, I go on Twitter and I'll say, I'm writing Sagittarius now. Is there something you want me to yeah. talk about? And, you know, and I'll see you later. And, and then I say, okay, finish that. And it's a really good one. It's long and they're running long. Remember last month? Last month, people were saying to each other, my forecast is eight pages long. Yeah. And they were. Like it's... Scorpio was really long. But I had a lot to say, and the internet gives me the place to say it. Yeah. And yeah. it's not boring. I don't ramble. Not at no. all. No. Not <laughs> at all. Boring. No, not at all. And we, we cut, you know, we, you don't see big, long things of type. We cut it, you know, about this long for each page. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. And then you have, the, that includes a summary. Yes. I know it's funny. Yeah. The summary is as long as the main part. Not as long. But <laughs> wait, as long. I think what is amazing about the summary is that it really contains different information. Yeah. And so it, I didn't know you wrote it beforehand, but it makes sense 
because yeah. it, it shows. I want so badly for people to remember what I say, that I say everything twice, but in a different way. Yeah. And sometimes the first time you read it, you may not get it. And then the way I say it the second time, you understand it. Yeah. Or vice versa, you know. So I know I'm obsessed with people remembering so that many people open their calendars and make notes. Oh, yeah. Now, I have a calendar that I do every year. Right. And next uh, year, I'm very excited about, I had my meeting with the artist, Isaac, I-Z-A-K, and he is going to do Women of the World. Oh my and gosh. I said we must do Brazil, so one of the months will be Brazil. Oh, I want to awesome. do Sugar Love, Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, something. have you been there? No, and it's.